Okay. So you, so you are it, tracking some big stuff. It's, oh, yeah. You're going to be working hard. And we've got four more ski resorts opening up this week. So finally, I would say the majority of our mountains are will be open after this weekend. The uh, ski resorts highlighted in yellow will be the ones that open up. Stevens Baker plan to open on Wednesday. Snoqualmie, White Pass, plan to open on Friday. I want to show you their, their snow elevation as well, since our resorts kind of are all over the place, depending on where they're located, obviously, but in terms of their elevation at the base level. And uh, snow, snow level will sit about 2,500 feet, so all of them will be getting snow. Two thumbs up there. Big storm system. Water vapor imagery just shows all of that moisture within that jet stream. And, of course, cold fronts hitting us currently and the wind is cranking. So we've got the wind, we've got the rain and the snow. All three of it is hitting in tonight and into tomorrow. We'll start off with rainfall widespread uh, off and on all week with more storms coming in. The coast, uh, uh, the wind will be cranking 50 mile an hour gusts and we might even see gusts that high along the northwest interior. Multiple feet of snow in the mountains above that 2500 foot level. So let's talk rain and wind because that is going to be a big one since we haven't really had a good wind driven event yet this season. So as we take a look at tomorrow morning, it's those areas just offshore of the Grace Harbor County along the beaches, that wind will be going fast. And the, the color, uh, the wind barbs that you're seeing there, look at the color spectrum up here just to give you an idea. And then anything north of Seattle along Puget Sound all the way up through the San Juans, we're going to be experiencing potentially 40 to 50 mile an hour gust up there as well. Okay, this does not end just in the morning. It sticks with us throughout the day. Now the wind calms down a bit in the afternoon, but it's still prevalent and it's still going to be hanging out with us. That will push on shore, right? So the showers stick with us. We're going to have widespread rain all day tomorrow. Wednesday, maybe a little bit of a break, but we still have activity in the mountains. We got a new storm Wednesday evening. This one's going to be yet again another reinforcer. Rainfall. Wind on the coast in the northwest interior, snow in the mountains, and of course, it'll be just like this to end the whole week. So uh, we're not really going to be getting a huge break. Here's your snow level as we jump into the next several days. It does stay below that 2,500 foot level. So if we look at how much we receive by tomorrow morning when you wake up or maybe you're at work already at 10 a.m., some of us have already picked up half a foot. OK, we roll into the afternoon hours on Tuesday and going to Wednesday morning. Notice we hit that one to two foot level easily up and down the Cascade Crest from 18 over at Baker Stevens at 25 down to Crystal and of course into White Pass. Ski lovers will be loving this for that opening day on Wednesday for a couple of locations, uh, and it does look like this weekend could be a great weekend to do some skiing, especially Saturday. Saturday is the only day that I have us dry right now. We have some sort of precipitation every day this week except that day and a new storm arriving on Sunday, so it will be active, you guys.